Hello everyone, welcome to my channel MedTech Prospects. Today I am going to discuss about one of the most common uh, question among engineering passed out students is that whether they have to go for postgraduate studies or not. This question arises in students, uh, those who do not get placed in campus interviews in their college uh, as well as uh, students don't want to get into uh, smaller scale industries uh, where they offer very less uh, salary package. Uh, dear students, uh, the situation will, will remain same even after you passed out of your MTech. I am not discouraging you uh, to get into a master's degree but there are certain advantages and uh, disadvantages uh, about your decision. I am going to talk about category of students, those who want to pursue their masters because of various reasons. Uh, the first uh, category of student uh, is uh, they have a strong passion towards certain field and uh, they want to do hardcore research as a preparatory phase for uh, doing PhI, uh, PhD. I always support those kind of students because they have some focus in their mind and they can excel in their uh, academic career. Uh, for this uh, category of students, um, uh, there is a suggestion from my side is that you keep track on uh, various uh, opportunities, research opportunities, not only in India uh, as well as in abroad. Uh, surf in Google and go to various uni university website and uh, go to professors um, page and there you will see uh, what are the research uh, is being carried out nowadays and uh, choose that uh, field as your uh, MTech study and during your MTech in your second year uh, you have to uh, do at least two to three projects based on that particular field and try to publish at least two good journals so that you will get a, a chance to get into these universities. The second category of students thinking that uh, doing masters will get them lots of job opportunities and uh, they think that uh, their salary bandwidth will increase when compared with uh, engineering graduate students. I have a dual approach on this uh, particular statement because uh, doing masters in fact reduce their chance of being placed in various companies because their field of study will become narrow and uh, if the company is having their field of study as their business unit then only they will get uh, lots of opportunities. Secondly, uh, regarding uh, salary bandwidth, I don't find there is much difference between MTech and uh, BE engineering uh, student salary bandwidth. In fact, there is a ch uh, chance of uh, difference of 1 or 2 lakhs, uh, maybe in some uh, good research based industries, uh, otherwise it will remain same. I have a small suggestion for this category of students is that when you are in your uh, final year of engineering, uh, better prepare for gate examination so that if you clear this exam, there is a high possibility of uh, getting to uh, good institutions such as uh, IITs, NITs or some good uh, deemed universities so that you will get uh, more placement opportunities and also if your gate score is too good, there is a high possibility of uh, being placed in uh, some central government uh, uh, institutions such as uh, uh, ISRO, NAL, HL, BPCL, HPCL and so on. Third category of students are those who want to settle down in abroad by earning MS degree in respective universities and in their respective field of study. For those students, what I suggest is when you are in a third year or final year of engineering, uh, better prepare for GRE, TOEFL and IELTS exams so that if you score good, there is a high possibility that you will get scholarship from these universities so it will reduce financial burden on you. And uh, in the worst case, if there is a recession happens, you can come back to India and uh, you can apply for other jobs. There is a large category of students who really do not have any idea about their future. Just for uh, the sake of getting degree, they will uh, do masters. And at the end, the situation will remain same. Uh, they won't get any job and uh, they will get uh, frustrated. For these kind of students, my suggestion is uh, soon after you are engineering, try search for uh, uh, jobs even if your starting salary is less go for it after few years your salary will increase after three to four years of your work experience you can jump into other companies so that your salary will increase and uh, in the meanwhile uh, in the beginning um, soon after your engineering if you are not getting any job uh, try to build up your skills uh, try to uh, do some uh, short term uh, courses such as CAD, uh, CAE or automation or um, some programming um, skills 
so that uh, there is a high chance of uh, getting placed in uh, various companies so my dear students my final suggestion for those students who want to pursue their m tech or masters degree is that uh, choose your college in such a way that uh, where they have a maximum placement opportunities and secondly uh, choose wisely uh, your field of study so that uh, it will have a huge demand in uh, current market uh, simply doing masters and uh, uh, without having any opportunities uh, it will waste your two years of precious time as well as uh, it will add financial burden on you on you if you enjoyed my today's session if you have any queries please give me a comment in the chat box i will get back to you on this uh, if you find it relevant give me a like share and subscribe thank you